हेलो कमिल वेलकम टू बॉलीवुड बबल एंड यू नो स्कैम हैज सेट अप अ न्यू बेंचमार्क इन द इंडियन कंटेंट इंडस्ट्री एंड सो कंग्रेचुलेशंस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सच एन अमेजिंग रिस्पांस एंड थैंक यू फॉर डूइंग दिस एंड प्लेइंग योर पार्ट टू एब्सोल्यूट परफेक्शन थैंक यू सो मच अक्षय एंड थैंक यू फॉर हैविंग मी हियर एंड इट्स इट्स माय प्लेजर टू बी हियर एंड यस अबाउट स्कैम आई एम आई एम जस्ट थैंकफुल टू गॉड for this uh, humongous overwhelming response i mean uh, it's, it's, it's good to be part of something something like this so, yeah thank you i know i want to know that uh, for this amazing show i mean how did it land up on your plate did you have to chase hansel mehta sir or mukesh amra or was your shori uh, shori more than enough for you to get this part like i was asked for this role and uh, at that time i was shooting for something else in gujarat so i gave me uh, i gave my self test from uh, gujarat and uh, so they they just brief me about the character and they, they told me and uh, for me uh, i'm not a share market person like i don't know anything about about how it has been uh, done and all that stuff to so jab uh, when when i got to know that uh, this character is uh, uh, about this this particular uh, period and it's about share market and it's it, it is uh, the, the character is of uh, one of the bear, bear gangs uh, which is opposite uh, harshad mehta so i did my uh, little research and all that stuff and then i gave my audition and i think the uh, answer sir liked what i did uh, with that part and uh, i got the role <laughs> <laughs> so uh, rakesh junjunwala on uh, whom your character is loosely based in scam uh, it, it, it is not uh, based on one particular character um, uh, as like when when sir told me he said ki see we can't show a uh, lot of characters we, like there are so many characters in the book and we can't do justice to all the characters so that's the reason why there are certain characters uh whom we have picked so it is not representation of uh, a, a particular single character uh, uh, or a, or a person so this is a representation this character which i am playing is a representation of uh, many such people who were part of the share market then who who were opposite uh, harshad mehta so the character is not based on one particular character uh, one a uh, particular person but uh, it is based on uh, many such the representation of mm-hmm. many such uh, people mm-hmm. okay. okay so uh, as you said that you know you have been shown as as the part of a bear gang uh, now you know uh, according to which period the uh, you know the entire show is set in uh, the 80s and the 90s early 90s uh, you know uh, a lot of has changed from that time in, in the current times i mean we have undergone a sea change in terms of you know uh, the with the advent of internet technology and of course you know everything all around us so i mean i want to know that for uh, you know while you were doing the research on your part on this for this particular character uh, like did you refer to the earlier tapes of that era to get the uh, you know physical nuances of your character uh, in place like the walk or the throw in the voice or something like that um yeah 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 so when when i i started doing my research on uh, on, on the people and they like during that time of of that era and all that stuff so yeah then then you, you try and take some nuances of uh, somebody from here i i also used to observe my my uncle who was in uh, when i was a kid he was in the share market you know with the way he used to talk in the in the, the lingo and and i have seen that uh, when because uh, i i am a product of a joint family so i used to see my uncle when when he used to uh, where when he, when he used to get a profit or something like that so uh, he used to get some ice cream for all of us and all that so so i know that today he is at a good day at share market and when when he was little, little sad and all that stuff so uh, he was tense that i could gauge that today he he is not having a good day at the share market so i've i've seen that uh, personally also so that uh, really helped me uh, achieve uh, to get what i want for the character yeah 
Okay. And you know, uh, uh, the show uh, deals with a lot of technicalities. I mean, of course, it has been uh, simplified and watered down uh, for the understanding of yeah. the common man. But for that also, you need to I mean, dwell deep as to what that world is about. You know, then only you can yeah. present it in a simpler way. So while you were uh, like uh, you know, working on your part, uh, like uh, did you extensively get down into the uh, mechan- uh, mechanism of how the market works and the jargons behind them? Not much because uh, this. The script was written so beautifully that we we didn't have to do anything. Like all the jargons and everything was just just right there. But uh, sometimes and uh, working with uh, uh, Paresh Paresh Ji, who is my side, hai, Paresh, uh, I forgot his surname. Uh, so he, uh, I forgot his uh, surname. Paresh. Uh, Paresh Ganatra Ji. Yeah. Yeah. So Paresh, uh, working with him, so he knew quite a. Uh, because he was part of this thing and he used to trade in share markets so so he knew a lot of stuff so there were some lines which i said it in, in that intensity and everything but i i i, I goofed up the meaning behind it mm-hmm. so I, i just changed a word here and there and i didn't realize it but he was there he said no 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 are yaar you have to say matlab uh, the market has gone down but you are mm-hmm. saying the market has gone so it's it's a, it's a opposite thing and mm-hmm. i i couldn't like uh, as a layman uh, i i couldn't understand ki mm-hmm. ye ye fark ho gaya hai mm-hmm. but he he was there so he was a great help uh, yeah i was saying that uh, would it be right to call pareshi uh, as your reference point to understand the financial world as far as uh, scam 1992 is concerned no because he was there in the same frame with me so it it helped me a lot uh, and he used to explain me ki uh, you have to say this dialogue this particular way this means this this dialogue the the word we are using short ho gaya ye ho gaya so he used to explain the while while we were shooting so that was a great help and uh, coming to flash <laughs> so i you know you have played a negative character in flash now you know, i mean majorly you have done comic roles in the mainstream space the artist ke liye typecast hona now it can be really frustrating because you know as an artist you can deliver a lot more but the world or the commercial forces they are hell bent on you know uh, uh, extracting extracting that one aspect of yours and you know ignoring the other part or the other uh, uh, you know aspect of or facets of your personality Uh, but at the same time kahin na kahin you also slip into a comfort zone because you get a better understanding of the genre you know you know comedy in and out so uh, when you got a chance to disrupt uh, that type casting with your character in flesh uh, did you face any challenge initially uh, to you know while breaking the monotony and while you were toying around your character uh no i didn't face any challenges as such mm-hmm. but um, i was super excited to be to be doing something different but as you rightly said for an actor um, the worst thing is to get typecasted and like to repeat yourself in the same thing over and over again i mean that is the worst thing uh, that could ever happen to an actor uh, so when i um, when i got flesh uh, so i had uh, for flesh also um, Like I knew Danish uh, and uh, the director of Flesh. I knew him uh, personally. I had done a couple of shows with him, so he knew what what uh, he can get out of me, mm-hmm. and that's the reason why uh, when Kavish, uh, the casting director, approached me for that particular role, I said, uh, "Are you sure?" Like, and I, I I was from inside I was pretty excited to to also be approached for a, a, a different kind of a role so i said yeah i would love to do it mm-hmm. and uh, then i got to know danish aslam is directing it so i said yeah as in it sorted i mean i can do anything with this mm-hmm. so uh, there were no uh, like there was more excitement uh, rather than challenges which i faced uh, during this flesh Okay, and I believe for this character of yours in Flesh, you like changed your biological clock purposely, uh, to to uh, to become sleep deprived and to get that irritability on your face. Uh, so now, since you are a theatre person, also you have done lots of theatre. I want to know that for this part in Flesh, uh, were uh, Lee Strasberg or Stanislavski were your go-to schools, uh, you know, as far as uh, this real uh, character is concerned. Like frankly speaking. Uh 
the, the kind of uh, theater education which i've got uh, is like i, I my, my first ever uh, theater workshop come production was with pandit satyadev dubey ji and uh, I, i i truly follow what his teachings were so like uh, stanislavski and all that, i i know their type of acting and the, the method acting and all that stuff. but i i have i'm i have not followed their uh, thing uh, till now i mean i uh, i haven't got an opportunity to like get into a character like that i my approach for a character is a little different mm-hmm. i i don't follow method acting i am a more of a uh, spontaneous kind of a actor mm-hmm. i mean I, i i i get it and i deliver like like that so uh, for uh, that particular role uh, in flesh when uh, i got to know that this guy is a little sleep deprived he's very irritated he's constantly on a like uh, i'm playing a character of a transporter so he's constantly on his jeep and so for that uh, i thought the, the basic thing which i could do is not sleep and uh, so my my body will also get naturally irritated uh, so that haggardness will show and all that. plus the beard i also been shape like three good months so just to add on to the character mm-hmm. and uh, the the shooting ships uh, also helped me a lot because they were shooting mostly night night ships yeah. so um, yeah i mean these were the small small things which i tried myself to experiment on myself to get a character and uh, you have uh, mentioned this once that you know uh, you love the process of going to the auditions and traveling in the local trains uh, so now you know when you uh, travel in a public transport you know bheed ke beech mein you are surrounded by a sea of emotions you know there are different stories uh, different characters around you stolen kisses uh, silent tears you know innocent giggles a lot, lot of thing and you know overwhelming uh, overwhelming emotions uh, ye kuch aisi cheeze hain uh, jo aam taur pe hum sab public transport mein dekh, dekhte hain and for an actor uh, this is the best literature that one could ask for exactly so, exactly <laughs> and so no i want to know that uh, uh, jab koi bhi actor uh, safalta ke graph uh, mein upar chadhta hai uh, to wo uh, in sab cheezon se ya bheed se ek tarah se dur hota chala jata hai jo normal routine life hai for now that people are knowing to get you much more i mean the masses uh, they are knowing to get you more uh, and you know, they are recognizing your work uh, so i mean do you think that this will affect your study in terms of observing and absorbing from uh, real life uh, people or characters uh i no i don't think so because uh, i think uh, like that's the beauty about mumbai i mean people just let you be yeah so um hoga mala initial thoda wo craze hoga but like when i when i was traveling in train also initially people used to get, look at me talk to me and then once they they saw sort of, they, they just let me be Mm-hmm. and um, the kind of uh, like i've grown up in an area called uh, girgaon i'm a bombay kid so all my growing years they knew this guy is into television this guy is doing something but uh, they they just let me be mm-hmm. i mean i i could easily roam i still even today when i go to uh, my place uh, where, where i was born and brought up and all that stuff so they still uh, treat me as a normal kid so i think uh, that is the beauty about it and uh, so <clears throat> my uh, my observation skills will remain intact and uh, because i i i still i'm a i'm a people's person i mean i, I don't uh, like when people come or people come take your photographs and others so i don't shy away because uh, for an actor this is what you you are doing uh, you, uh, you, like what you, you love to do and that is why you are doing it people because you want people to love you and uh, so yeah when when people come to me i i don't shy away so i i don't think so i i will still be uh, the same person and i think uh, yeah but uh, if i go to a different city or a different place then i think it will be a totally different game yeah 
uh, how do you view uh, the relationship of an actor or a star and the vanity that that's a part and parcel of an actor's or a star's life how do you view this relationship with vanity um you well, see this is this is part of your job i mean you 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 strive for that you you want that yeah and uh, but uh, see i i have always uh, understood this and uh, from a very young age when when i was an actor i have understood that uh, like you are so blessed to be an actor because you are working and to achieve what you 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 are aiming for what there are 500 people working behind you yeah just to push you yeah. and get you in that in, in that zone so uh, as an actor if you if you kind of have that in back of your mind mm-hmm. so i think uh, when then you accept the the vanity also very well you accept mm-hmm. everything uh, quite well mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And uh, moving further, uh, I've learned that you know, as a kid, you also were a part of filmy chakkar, and you proved your metal in the comedy genre as you grew up, and then through ads or movies. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong. Here somewhere. Yes. No. No. You're, you're right. You're right. So you know, uh, life ke formative years mein uh, filmy chakkar jaise show ka hissa banna, and being in the company of celebrated artists like uh, Satish sir, uh, Ratna Patak Shah ma'am, and Rajesh Bedi sir, uh, how do you think it helped you as an actor uh, with a natural flair for comedy? it uh, helped me tremendously because uh, unknowingly subconsciously it was working uh, with me i was there observing them and it just it just grew on me i mean so dheere 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 kaise wo andar aa gaya and uh, i have always said this in all my interviews i mean i owe my uh, my 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 timing of comedy my my flair of this uh, uh, comic uh, flair of being a comic actor to mm-hmm. to these people i mean to satish and to ratna ma'am uh, rakesh and to like when when i used to see them perform and this is what i i, I learned mm-hmm. and uh, and it was not knowing me like i was not uh, been like they didn't teach me but by observing that and but yeah and they used to also treat me as an actor not a kid they mm-hmm. think you have to now learn this you where where i align you you do this so i think all these years molded me uh, to be a person to be an actor uh, what i am right now <laughs> so i i give them tremendous credit for that <laughs> Okay. and uh, comedy pe to khair aapki mazboot pakad hai it's one of your core strengths uh, but with uh, and after playing a negative character in flesh and having delivered a top notch performance i mean i'm sure it would give you a certain uh, boost in your confidence uh, so i would want to know that if you mix these two together uh, you know playing a negative character and the uh, comedy genre uh, would you at some point would like to try your hands in in, in a genre like dark comedy per se definitely definitely i uh, I always want to do some like keep doing something different. I want to keep challenging myself um, by doing uh, new new stuff all the time. So if there is such a chance, I will definitely I would love to do something like that. Further, you have extensively worked in the world of advertisement. Uh, now, ads' ki dunya, khubsurat hone ke saath saath, kafi hat tak over the top bhi hoti hai because. at the end of the day uh, an advertisement has to drive the sales of a product by telling a story within 15 20 seconds of its run time however uh, with the advent and the evolution of the internet uh, this is slowly changing you know in the sense that ads have become longer uh, in, in the form of brand films or digital films uh, so do you think that the advertisement industry will now slowly open up to the idea of subtlety uh, if yes then what are the positives of this that you uh, see as far as the actors are concerned working in the medium of advertisement like i have always thought uh, advertising medium is the most uh, difficult medium because to achieve that kind of a story in 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 this precise 30 seconds 
so yeah uh, that is difficult but as you said that uh, it is little, little on the uh, the ot matlab over the top side or something like that but not every ad is 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 uh, uh, on the ott side so there were there were some ads which which i feel which were very uh, actor driven ads or model driven ads uh, character driven ads and there were some ads which were uh, just product product driven ad i mean you just don't have to do anything i mean the story tells itself and you're just sitting there and to waise bhi ads banate the but uh, digital ads aane se jo ek uh, lamba story telling uh, jaisa ek hua hai so it is more of a like a like a nice short film kind of a format so yeah that that change has come definitely uh, and it's, it's a good change and for actors i think uh, for them it will be a same process i mean subtlety will be there but then the the quirkiness of the ads and, and that uh, thing will um, eventually uh, the, the ads will become more simpler मतलब अगर अगर ऐसे लंबे एड्स बनने लगे और तो वो सटलिटी आ जाएगा बट वो सटलिटी वैसे भी फिल्म में और वो सब में होता है तो द द होल आइडिया ऑफ डूइंग एन एडवर्टीजमेंट व्हिच व्हिच कैप्चर्स योर माइंड इन दैट 30 सेकंड्स व्हिच होल्ड्स द पीपल पीपल्स अटेंशन वो मिस हो जाएगा and uh, talking about scam again uh, so while working on scam you know during the entire schedule uh, were you at any point surprised by yourself with how perhaps hansel sir extracted a certain aspect of your personality or some kind of you know nuances from your personality so uh, definitely i was i was not surprised but i was amazed to see how effortlessly the whole thing has shaped up Uh, because I remember the first time, the first day when I had gone for my readings with Hansel sir, um, he just heard it once and then uh, he didn't say anything. So like I was like, so then you start thinking, you like, uh, was I there in the right zone? Was I not? Then he told me, I'll I'll be with you guys again. So he just he didn't say anything. He just let you be. So you keep uh, thinking and then you become so alert as an actor. Mm-hmm. Like you start uh, thinking what what he wants, so you 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 go in that zone. Mm-hmm. Then uh, for the second reading, he he just uh, looked and he said, "Yeah, okay, it's going well." Mm-hmm. So then, so then you exactly knew okay, what you did yesterday and what you did today. So this is what he wants. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then uh, mm-hmm. when when you start uh, getting that, he just lets you be. um uh, first scene when i did he just he just uh, look at the rehearsals and uh, he said yeah okay can can we do something like this i said yeah so there is this constant uh, thing happening uh, between an actor and the director and that's so beautiful mm-hmm. where hansel sir just lets you be and while uh, doing it you yourself are amazed it, it is it is eventually happening and that the character is coming out really well and uh, yeah you you are amazed by your uh, capabilities as well mm-hmm. and how effortlessly it has it has come out yeah. okay. and uh, lastly uh, i would uh, uh, want you to help me with your favorite character from scam and it can't be your character some other character from, from the universe <laughs> no no i i like uh, the best part about show is each and every character in the show has stand out so beautifully well um like it is it is very difficult to point one character out of out of so many characters mm-hmm. if you talk about uh, um see pratik shreya all those characters like they're brilliant but i'm saying uh, e- e- even that kid that that who played the chai wala uh, yeah. with uh, Maybe he's just there, and he just mm-hmm. uh, Devashi's character explaining him how to make tea, and he's just looking at him, looking at him, and then in the end he's just like, "Keep this with you." No, he doesn't want to learn. He doesn't want to learn. And then he just leaves. So I mean, if you see, if you observe, even that character is so brilliant. I mean, yeah. उससे आपको पता चल जाता है कि शो में क्या होने वाला है. मतलब सब लोग किस तरह से हैं. I mean. Uh, 
uh, you you see the character of uh, uh, Sita Raman, Jamini Bhatta. So, मतलब अच्छी तरह से पूरा बनाया हुआ है. So, this, so yeah, I can't pin pinpoint one character. I mean, you see every department. You see costumes. You see music. You see um, cinematography. Everything is going and uh, going with each other, supporting each other so well. Nothing is coming out. It's not at your face. It's blending so well with each with with each other, and it's supporting so well that the entire series is looking so seamless. So that's the beauty about Scam. And I'm not saying this because I'm part of it. Uh, really, uh, this product because when we were shooting. We we thought that uh, yeah I think uh, we we are making something good mm-hmm. something nice but when I when I saw the show I was like wow this is mm-hmm. this is beyond good this is yeah yeah <laughs> so uh, with that we have reached the end of this conversation I would like to know if there's some question that I may have missed asking and you would have loved to answer or something that you would you would have loved to talk about uh, so please. Uh, feel free to talk about. Oh yeah, okay. I mean, you you have that, and uh, you you have asked about each and everything which I wanted to talk about, and uh, I mean the kind of questions you have asked uh, was also like uh, kept me thinking. Ki, yeah, I mean this is so you you quite uh, like I had fun, a lot of fun uh, answering this uh, interview. Yeah, likewise, likewise. You have asked, yeah, made me think. So mm-hmm. that that is that is the beauty about this, yeah. So thank you so much. Thank you. It's it's my pleasure. Thank you so much. So on that note, uh, thank you for talking to us, Kevin, and giving your time to Bollywood people. And I wish you all the best for all your upcoming projects. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Please so take much. care. Okay. Bye bye. You too. Thank you.